For those of you who have not heard, and I would bet it's probably the majority, I don't think a lot of you sit around on social media all day long, uh, I have accepted a new radio job, which will start on June the 21st, a little over three weeks from now, and that is to be uh, one of the new hosts in the Rush Limbaugh window. The biggest job, arguably, in all of radio, the only one I can think of that would be remotely similar, probably Howard Stern, and that's on satellite radio. So certainly 20 million people listen to the Rush Limbaugh show. Some of you may have been longtime listeners of Limbaugh, and as an incredible honor, they came to me and said a couple of months ago, we want you to take over in that noon to three Eastern window in the biggest job in all of radio. And I couldn't say no. Uh, It is uh, an incredible opportunity. And uh, the thing that made me not immediately say yes was that I have loved doing this show with you guys for six years, since 2016 when we started Now we're into 2021. We've got the biggest and best national sports talk radio show anywhere in the country. And the amount of growth that we've seen on this show has been extraordinary. And the things that we have been through as a radio family have been pretty unprecedented, including what I think is one of the most challenging years in American history and certainly when you don't have sports for months and we still came on and talked with you every morning for three hours and we had some of our highest rated uh, shows during that window that was uh, that was incredibly gratifying to me and I'm incredibly proud of the shows that we did and the battles that we fought to ensure that sports were played I mean, there were a lot of people out there who didn't want sports to be played because of COVID, who didn't believe it was possible to play sports because of COVID. And we won that battle and I think did an incredible job trying to to ensure that not only pro sports, but college sports and also your kids' high school and little league sports were able to be played since so many sports leagues take their cue from what the professionals or the college ranks do. And I want to say uh, right off the top, one of the reasons why I am confident this spot, this part of Fox Sports Radio, which many of you start off your mornings listening to, uh, will do well is because of the people making the choices about who will replace me. And that is Don Martin and Scott Shapiro, who hired me six years ago and put me into this chair when a lot of you didn't know me at all. And they have done a fantastic job. They are incredible bosses. They do a a, a phenomenal job running all of Fox Sports Radio, managing all the personalities, and making sure that we put out the best product every single day, all day long, all around the uh, the entire calendar. So I know that they're going to do a good job. I think you guys are going to be happy with who they select, and I know they're going to make the right choice. Uh, or choices in terms of who they pick to uh, to replace me here on OutKick. Uh, the reason why I feel comfortable going to take over the Rush Limbaugh spot, even though they are absolutely massive shoes, is because Julie Talbot is going to still be in charge of my radio life. And she has been the boss here ever since I started. She recruited me alongside of Don and uh, Don Martin and Scott Shapiro. And she is in charge of everything at Premier Networks. I'm staying in iHeart. It's not like I'm going to a new company. I'm just starting a new job. So I'll be on 12 to 3 Eastern. Uh, Many of you probably, like I said, have tuned into Rush over the years, are familiar with his work. And if you are not, I hope that you will come and give us a chance. I'm going to be co-hosting alongside of Buck Sexton. Uh, We've been, it's been super secretive, I would say, in order to not allow this news to, uh, to leak, but we have been doing 
mock shows for an audience of just a couple of people. I think we're going to have a really smart, original, funny, and authentic show, which will connect with a lot of you. And uh, and we start really soon, in three weeks from Monday. So there isn't some long uh, period of time between when I'm signing off with you and when uh, I'm starting the show. In fact, I'll probably be busier than I ordinarily would be uh, when it comes to actually getting ready for the launch of the new show and being prepared for it. But really, I, I consider it to be an incredible luxury anytime you have the opportunity to choose how a job ends. Because like a lot of you out there, I've been in a situation where I've liked jobs and walked in and one day you have a job and the next day you don't. And it might not be because of anything you've done at all. Companies ebb and flow. They make decisions to uh, to move on, to, uh, uh, to decide uh, that you can or cannot stay employed. And so to me, it's always been an incredible luxury when I left my local radio show that I was doing it was a tough decision, but I knew it was an opportunity here uh, that was too good to pass up. And now I feel like the opportunity that I'm uh, that I'm going to from here is also too good to pass up. 